Greetings guys, this is Tokraft and today I am going to show you just what the T3485 is capable of with the proper matchup and the proper position to work its enemies because this guy is the tier 6 Russian medium tank it has absolutely no hull armor but you can use it in some effective ways to bounce some shots it has the same hull as the T-34, the previous tank. It has pretty good turret actually, it's not really well armored, but as you can see the angle of the armor on the turret is pretty well sloped. So that yeah, makes you bounce a lot of shots and there you can see there's the first enemy spotted. You'll see Amex and I missed the shot, horrible shot that was, didn't give enough lead. He comes again, I aim again, take the time, boom, bad shot. Okay. So as you can see, I'm heading off to this position right here. I found this position on this Japanese map called Hidden Village. And this is a really, really strong position. You can work the enemies in front of you who are going to try to proceed through this heavy passage here. You can work the guys over who are trying to engage your base from the city. So this position has a lot of opportunities. But guys, as you can see, <laughs> this gun is typical Russian, long aim time, pretty bad accuracy, but this gun is pretty okay. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> didn't quite go where I aimed it, but at least the gun was fully aimed, but it still didn't quite go where I aimed it. But as you can see, I'm just trying to work these guys over, there's not many enemies spotted. But I have to be careful though, because there can be a lot of enemies spotted in the back there. And that's why I don't, yeah, try to side scrape. If I side scrape and get shot at, I'm never be on time back into cover. So that's why I'm just going around the corner like this. If I get shot at once, I can immediately retreat. Yep, KV1 shows his side, so I can easily plan the shot into there. I miss, he misses. Shot went completely to the left, absolutely weird shot that was KV1 is showing his frontal armor as you can see I'm not aiming for the mid plate which is really well angled but for the lower or the upper plate not the upper angled plate keep that in mind as you can see Cromwell is advancing through the middle I can work this guy over easily so there you go I take the kill you should saw it is a very strong position you can Get your tank, yeah, get your enemies from almost every angle and you are also safe from artillery fire as long as you stay behind this big rock mountain kind of thing. So it is 6-7 at the moment. There's still enemies back there on this ridge. There's two heavy tanks here on the heavy passage and a lot of tanks are still in the city and haven't been spotted yet. Try to take a shot at the Churchill 7, which is never going to penetrate in that angle. Not even the frontal plate. Okay, now I have an opportunity to penetrate him. He shows his side armor. But that is a really weird bounce. And I only wanted to take one shot because I saw that there was a Yak Panzer 4 advancing from the middle. So I took the risk. Take one shot, then immediately turn your attention towards the rest. And the excels you're shooting are explosive. But of course you have to shoot I explosive on this tank. And he gets punished for it really bad. Jagdpanzer 4 comes in, comes in. Nice shot, nice shot, nice shot. Oh, RNG. RNG, you're so silly. Thank you. 4 kills, 1100 damage, 9-9. Nine, nine. Pretty good game so far. But oh god, there comes a the pencil 4 h But he wasn't smart enough. <laughs> no idea what that guy was thinking. Absolutely no idea. Okay, don't have shots on these guys. So I think, okay, let's try to kill the Yak Panzer IV. So I'm trying to go around here. But then at that moment, a T-14 gets spotted. Nice shot into him. He stops in the middle of the open. I'm trying to get another shot. Hit his tracks, unfortunately. Oh, then he gets tracked again. Oh, and I hit the tracks again. Bad luck. 
but now I aim properly and take the kill. So, 1600 damage. Okay, now I have to think. Yagbanzer 4 is still in my base. Hellcat hasn't been spotted all the battle long, so he's probably on full health. And the KV-1 back there. And there's the Hellcat as well. So, what am I going to do now? What am I going to do now? Well, I think there's a KV-1S and a KV-1 behind me. They will take care of the Panzer. So, I will go to help out the AT-8. Because he has no mobility. KV-1 is on low health. And they have to fight against a Hellcat and another KV-1. So, I'm going to help these guys out. But they seem to have the problem on the control. Because they have almost killed both of those tanks. Pretty impressive. Well done to them. So, I come in. Okay, he just reversed. Really stupid by him. And take the kill. Well, now. There's one Jagdpanzer left. Don't have a choice. <laughs> and he just killed our KV-1S. So, I do have to be careful. So, he certainly knows what he's doing. He doesn't have the best stats for his amount of battles played. But he has three kills. So, I, he certainly know what he's doing. So, I tell my team. Should be up in the chat any moment. Any moment now. There you go. One help me, others go cap. Because if the Panzer would have outplayed me, I would at least have support for one of my teammates. And they agree with me. So, two are going to the cap. KV-1 is coming with me. So, my first plan is to engage the Panzer with these hills in my advantage. So I at least have some cover because I've got really weak hill armor, of course. So... Coming closer, coming closer. Not yet, I've been spotted. There you go, he's been spotted. Boom, headshot. GG, 8 kills, another Ridley Walters. But guys, you can see the real pain in the ass for me after this battle. This was only a first class medal. And that tells you how good people are playing this tank. Absolutely insane. I did 1800 damage. I destroyed 8 enemy vehicles. What do you have to do more? As well as collecting a high caliber top gun medal and of course a reaper medal for destroying three enemy tanks only with one shot. So guys, that was it for this video. Hope you like to see me playing in my tanks again. If you'd like to see more of the, my replay, yeah, things, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, leave a like or tell me in the description what you want to see. This was Toecraft and I will see you later. Oh, <laughs>